dear students in this video lecture we are going to learn about fiber reinforced metal so fiber reinforced metal are composite material which is made up of inorganic fibers fabricated with metal matrix so generally composite materials consist of two phase one is the matrix phase the other one is the reinforcement phase here the matrix phase will be metal and the reinforcement will be inorganic fibers so inorganic fibers like uh, boron carbon aluminum can be reinforced with metals and uh, generally this uh, reinforcement of such fibers is made in order to improve its uh, mechanical behavior in order to improve its uh, ductility malleability etc and also the strength can be improved efficiently and even certain materials can improve its corrosion resistance greatly the fabrication of ferrum consists of joining interfaces of both faces uh, that means the reinforcement face and uh, the metal face metal matrix face before doing the fabrication of ferrum the reinforcement fibers and materials has to be chosen carefully because we cannot mix any different kind of material only certain material can, can be suitably added into certain other mat metal matrix phase and uh, it is added such that uh, it has be it has to be chosen that it should uh, efficiently increase the strength but the weight uh, in terms of weight it should be lightweight lightweight with the high strength is preferred so in that aspect we need to choose the reinforcement uh, fibers as well as the metal matrix uh, these are all some of the the table indicates some of the uh, reinforcement fibers we use and uh, the metal matrix in which it can be incorporated some of the reinforcement fibers are boron carborundum carbon alumina and these are the corresponding metal matrix for example boron can be added in aluminum and magnesium so which is called as a boron system and carborundum carborundum used in aluminum and titanium can be used as car carborundum system and uh, and so on so carbon system and alumina system when it is added with this metal matrix it's so like that suitable metal matrix is chosen in order to reinforce those fibers by reinforcing it can improve its all the mechanical property its uh, electric even some, uh, some material can uh, the electrical properties can get altered and even uh, the corrosion resistant can be altered so like that the physical and chemical properties can be altered uh, greatly so this flow chart this diagram shows how the frm can be manufactured but this is the general uh, process but there are certain specific processes are there to form the fiber reinforced metals for example uh, we saw how we can manufacture fiber reinforced plastics from open molding technique and closed molding technique like that there are many uh, molding techniques are there to manufacture material uh, but here it is a general uh, diagram which indicates how the materials can be synthesized so initially the fiber is taken fiber means the boron carbon atom powder or carbon alumina any any one the fiber is taken that fiber is suitably coated so because uh, initially uh, depending upon the requirement the fiber is uh, taken and it is given pre treatment and what is uh, what is the requirement for the pre treatment is to improve the wetting and the joining ability with the metal matrix because some material can easily uh, form as a uh, mix with metal matrix some other cannot easily mix with metal matrix so here the fiber it indicates that from fiber it puts a arrow mark over here it can go to this pr process in that sense from here directly certain fibers can be directly go to the formation process 
certain other cannot be go to the formation process directly uh, because some fibers required a pretreatment if it require pretreatment it should undergo these processes before going to the formation process uh, but certain fibers can be used directly to the formation process that's why the arrow is indicated like this and uh, fiber coating so if it requires depending upon the requirement it can be coated so that it is effectively wetted and uh, the joining ability can be improved so that the prevention from failure can be avoided the, there won't be any failure during the process that can be avoided so next uh, after the coating the fiber preform making so generally the preform making means which cut into required dimensions certain materials are available uh, the starting material itself will be in a required dimension certain other will not be in required dimensions we need to cut it to the required dimension whatever the dimension is required that can be cut so if it is required from this fiber coating it is uh, preform making is done if it is not required only fiber coating alone is enough so that it can uh, it can be effectively uh, mixed with metal matrix from here itself it can uh, go to the formation process because preform making uh, preform making is not required where it will be in the required dimension itself so suppose if it is not there in the required dimension then it should be uh, undergo this process preform pro making process where it can be cut to definite dimensions and uh, certain other material undergo the next process called uh, preform orientation and lamination certain materials after cutting the edge, the edges will not be good then it should uh, processed uh, it should be oriented and uh, laminated according to the design specification of the components so certain material required a further processing called orientation and lamination so certain material need not be oriented after cutting it can be e effectively mixed with metal metal matrix but certain other cannot be mixed with metal mat matrix effectively so it should undergo preform orientation and lamination if it doesn't required from preform making it can go to the formation uh, the primary processing uh, straight away it can be used for primary processing process and uh, after preform orientation the fo formation can be occurred formation means the fiber mixed with metal it can make as a composite material at this process this is the process where the material can be formed this can be any such process it can be open mold process or closed mold process like that we we studied uh, many different processes for frp very similarly here that can be several processes through which it can be formed but that process has been done at this extent and here uh, the composition at this stage the composition at which it should uh, mixed and what is the shaping to be carried out those things can be carried out at this process and generally it requires a heat treatment here some heat treatment process will be done in order to make it as a matrix and second certain cold process doesn't require any heat treatment it can be effectively mixed but most of the cases it requires certain heat treatment in order to mix this reinforcement fiber into the metal matrix and form as a composite material after the formation of such a composite material it should uh, undergo the secondary and secondary processing stage where uh, some uh, metal after making as a com uh, met, uh, composite material yeah, it, it is uh, it should undergo cutting trimming and joining is done so that the required uh, kind of structure can be obtained so it it should undergo certain secondary processing uh, like cutting trimming and joining to get the desired material or desired dimension and uh, that can be further used for practical applications the properties of frm what are the special properties of frm material 
The first is FRM is lightweight, and the second is it has a uh, the FRM has a very high stiffness. In that sense, it is lightweight and possesses very high strength when compared to normal material. The FRM possesses high strength and high temperatures. So, because uh, certain materials, its strength can be decreased when the temperature increased. For example, if the temperature is increased to 200 to 400 degrees Celsius, at that particular temperature, if it is a normal uh, material, if it is not a composite material, if it is a normal alloy material, it shows uh, very poor uh, high strength when compared to the FRM material, fiber reinforced metals. When compared to this, comparatively, it possesses less, but when compared to the normal metallic alloys, this FRM possesses very high strength at high temperatures. So FRM are high in interlamina strength, stress transmissibility uh, between filaments and uh, highly resistant to polyaxial and complex stress. So uh, in that sense, uh, its uh, mechanical behavior greatly improved when it is formed as a uh, fiber reinforced metal rather than simply uh, alloy material. So FRM are resistant to impact and superior in extreme low temperature characteristics. Not only at high temperature, even at extremely low temperature, it possesses some excellent characteristics. FRM are infiltrated by water and not corroded by rain. In that sense, uh, the uh, water will not uh, adhere to the FRM surface. So uh, only if uh, water is get absorbed in uh, metals, it can uh, corrode quite easily. And uh, since the water do not adhere to this uh, FRM metals, uh, it, uh, it, the corrosion is very poor and it can be used uh, for many practical applications. They do not require any measures against lightning strike or static or any coating for electromagnetic shielding. So it doesn't require, uh, we know that certain metals get affected uh, due to lightning. During rainy season uh, it can get affected but here this material doesn't require any electromagnetic shielding. So since uh, it, it possesses a very good strength when compared to normal material and uh, even uh, oh, the electromagnetic shielding is not required. In that sense, uh, it is not affected by any electromagnetic fields. So the applications, uh, if you see the applications of uh, FRM, the fiber reinforced metals are used in uh, constructing space machines and uh, satellite body structures. As we saw that its properties, uh, especially in space, we know the temperature is very very low at that very low temperature we cannot use any kind of material because uh, at extreme low temperature the properties has to be uh, maintained the same property what it exhibited at room temperature should be maintained so that it can be used in space, space material or satellite body structures so this FRM place, uh, we already studied that it possesses, even at extreme low temperature, it possesses very good uh, property. So it can be used uh, in space, mission and satellites. And the system which can be used is uh, boron aluminum system or uh, boron magnesium carbon aluminum can be used. So FRM are, uh, uh, it is used to make uh, frames, beams, fans, compressor, uh, blades, wings, and uh, assess those in aircrafts and the system which can be used is boron aluminum and silicon carbon and the FRM are used to make truss structures in helicopters it is uh, the promising material which can be used is boron aluminum silicon carbide or aluminum uh, aluminum oxide aluminum and what is this truss structures is it is the main body part of a uh, helicopter it is the building uh, block from which the whole helicopter can be built and uh, especially we know that FRM materials are lightweight and possess a very good strength that makes them special to for use it as a uh, to make stress uh, structures 
The FRM are used to make engine electric components uh, such as motor brushes, cables, etc. And uh, carbon or copper, this system can be used to, to make such electrical engine components. And uh, last uh, application, the FRM is, uh, is also used to make tennis rackets, uh, golf, uh, rack, uh, golf bat, etc. And uh, these are some of the aluminum, uh, boron aluminum, silicon carbide aluminum. These are some of the system which can be used to, to make such uh, such uh, tennis, uh, such materials. So with this, uh, the forum is completed. Uh, next lecture will continue.